Hi everybody, my name is Tina Pagano and I'm a current senior here at Florida Southern. I have a double major in advertising and public relations as well as interpersonal and organizational communications. Alongside Southern Ambassadors, I hold a two-year internship here in the Office of Admissions. I've been the Vice President of Lambda Pi Eta, which is our Communications Honor Society. I've been involved in AdFed, Campus Ministries, and a few other clubs and organizations throughout my time here. Hi everybody, my name is Ellen Engersbach and I'm so excited to go on tour with you today. I am a current junior here at Florida Southern College. Um, I'm a double major in Psychology and Econ Finance. And aside from giving tours, I'm also an intern in the Admissions Office. I am a Scholars Weekend Coordinator, Orientation Coordinator. Um, I'm the president of my sorority, so I'm very involved in Greek life. I'm in Delta Sigma Pi, which is the business fraternity, the psychology club, and a few of the honor societies on campus. Hi, my name is Kat Stogner. I'm in my second year here at Florida Southern. I'm a political science and history double major with a pre-law and business admin double minor. When I'm not giving tours, I find myself working for the theater and music departments, and I also hold an internship position at the Center for Justice Teaching. I am involved in a lot of our different clubs here on campus, including most of our political clubs, as well as Model UN and the speech and debate team, and I'm also part of our pre-law fraternity here. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Lucas Blackwell. I'm a junior from Melbourne Beach, Florida, and I'm a double major in criminology and film. I serve as the director of leadership for the Southern Ambassador Program, and when I'm not giving tours, I also serve as the director of Southern Sound for the Association of Campus Entertainment, which means I'm in charge of all the concerts on campus, including Southern Takeover. I serve as co-president of Catholic Campus Ministries. I'm a senator with SGA, um, and I'm involved with a few honor societies as well. So we're really excited to take you on tour today, so come along. Alrighty, welcome to the Becker Business Building. This building opened in the fall of 2015. We're really proud of our business program here. We are AACSB accredited, which puts us in the top 5% of business schools in the world. We're really proud of that accreditation. We house seven different majors in here from your traditional business administration. We also have uh, sports marketing. We have healthcare administration, a lot of different majors for you in this school. So one of the perks here at Florida Southern being our engaged learning is gonna be some of our um, Bloomberg terminals. So we have 12 of them here on campus. We're gonna come up there on your right hand side and so you can kind of look at our sample stock room this is the same technology they use at the New York City Stock Exchange so students are really able to get that hands-on experience here in the classroom so they're able to prepare to trade stocks on the floor in New York upon graduation So something that I really love about Lakeland is all the cute shops that we have here. Um, we have a ton of different thrift stores here, including Top Buttons, which is a super nice place. We also have other cute stores like 27. You can totally check them out on Instagram. I love the food, honestly. I'm a big foodie, and my favorite event to go to is the Lakeland Food Truck Rally. It happens every second Thursday of the month. Um, you bet I mark my calendars. I've gone like... 27 times straight. I'm not counting. I actually <laughs> even got engaged there and it's kind of crazy, but um, gotta love the food truck rally. There's always like 20 of them, all these different kinds of foods, and it's just super fun and chill and it brings the community together. So Florida Southern has over 70 different programs of study, ranging from computer science to medical laboratory sciences to even business, in which we are in a classroom right now. All of our majors are taught with the model of engaged learning. So instead of sitting down, kind of having a lecture style class um, that we're kind of doing to you now, I'm so sorry. It's getting you guys up, moving around not only your classroom, but the campus, Lakeland, the environment, getting you active in your field. That way you're going into your profession or your career or graduate school already knowing what you have done these last four years. These steps have prepared you to be comfortable in your career because we want to teach you what you would like to learn. Um, Ellen, you want to share some examples of the business engaged learning? Of course. I think probably the best um, example of engaged learning in business is for our first year students. They immediately jump into a class that's kind of Shark Tank style, so they come up with their own um, businesses, come up with their own product to sell, and then they present to a panel of judges, which are um, professors or staff, um, and then they have like this whole competition. I think the winner even wins like a gift card or something. So. It's a really fun time, but it's also um, really good because that's something that you would be doing in the real world. So it's exciting that we get those experiences right away.
So welcome to the Christoverson Humanities Building. Since our president, Dr. Ann Kerr, came to campus in 2004, this is one of the brand new buildings she has brought here to campus. So now it houses our humanities program, as well as our foreign language and English departments. As a BA, you are required to take three semesters of foreign language. So I took Spanish here my sophomore year. We also have great English classes like poetry. Uh, Professor Bernheim uh, holds a poetry class and our students are even able to showcase their poetry at showcases at the end of the semester. So a lot of great opportunities here in the Christopherson building. All right, everyone, welcome to Winnie Warden Dance Studio here at FSC. We recently just graduated our first graduating class of dance majors. We offer two different um, specifications in dance. We have performance and choreography. Students are able to work with Florida Dance Theater and have professional opportunities like that. As well on campus we have a dance concert at least once a semester as well as student-led choreo showcases as well. Hi, welcome to Branscombe Auditorium. It's one of our performance spaces here on campus. In Branscombe, we hold everything from student performances to professional performances, like the Russian Ballet doing Cinderella here pretty recently. Um, we also can fit our entire student body in here, which is super helpful super helpful for when we have convocation. Um, they we bring in a speaker and they basically just tell us all about their life's journey and how they got to where they are today. If you're in that speaker's academic profile, you're able to go and meet with them after and just have like a brief Q&A. Um, so you, if you have any questions about it, you can ask. We've had someone um, from Hamilton. We had the first uh, female NFL ref just come in. So super amazing opportunities to be had here. Welcome to Buckner Theatre. This is our second performance space here on campus. This is where we hold all of our musicals and plays. We most recently had a run of cabaret that was amazing, huge community response. Theatre here at FSC is something huge in Lakeland. We always have a ton of people coming. We have a ton of students coming. So if you come to Florida Southern, make sure to come see some of our plays and musicals. Alrighty guys, well welcome to the Blanton Nursing Building. Right now we are in what they call the Sim Labs and so we have the mannequins that are here for our nursing students to work on. What's really great about Florida Southern's nursing program is that we are direct entry. So when you're going ahead and filling out the application for Florida Southern itself, you're also applying for the nursing program in which you'll start those classes your first year, already being able to kind of work hands on how to draw IVs or put the pipes in their neck. Um, Ellen had walked through and shown mama and the baby and so the, during your OB units you can actually learn how to deliver a child. What's also really great about Florida Southern's nursing program is that we have a direct partnership with Lakeland Regional Medical Center for our students to do clinicals over there for like six semesters in every single rotation of the hospital. That way coming your senior year you know exactly where you'd like to intern in the area of the hospital and be set post-graduation. Welcome to the Barron Biology Labs. These, as you can see, are quite small. They fit up to around 18 to 20 students, so even we keep our lab sizes um, around that average class size of 18. That way our students and faculty are able to have one-on-one -on -one time and you're not shoving 100 people in a lab with a bunch of chemical materials. As you can see, this semester we have a marine bi microbiology course occurring in here. Students are able to go out to Lake Hollingsworth, collect samples of shrimp and lard and bacteria, and test them for the entire semester. Currently on the second floor houses our computer science area of study. Um, hopefully in the fall of 2021, they'll be their own building soon. Um, we have concentrations in artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. We also have a few 3D printers and drones that our students are able to use, even for things like hurricane tracking. Below us is the citrus and horticultural area of study. Currently, I'm in a plants and societies class. I was able to make rubber today, so sorry if you see anything on me. I've made soap a few weeks ago, I've made coffee, and learned just how to dissect a bunch of fun things. 
currently we are standing in front of the Roberts Academy, which is a school for students diagnosed with dyslexia. It's from second to eighth grade, so our elementary education students have their opportunities to complete their clinical experiences here starting their first semester. What better engaged learning experience is there than that? Here at Florida Southern, we have tons of resources that are able to aid the students with their engaged learning process. We have our Rogers Center, we have Rinker Technology Center that we are currently standing in from, as well as our athletics and campus ministry programs. Rinker Technology Center is home to tons of computers, PC and Macintosh, as well as our tech buddies and a few printers. If you have any computer needs or need assistance throughout your time connecting to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, or maybe just need to print a paper on your way to class, Rinker is a great place to do so. Hello everyone, welcome to Rue Library. Our library operates on a three-tier system here. So on the first floor, it's really conducive to group work. We also have a printer and we have computers there. On the second floor, this is where our, our book starts. We have over half a million resources here at the Rue Library. We also use the interlibrary loan system. So if there's a resource at another library that you might need, the librarians can help you get that resource. And then on the top floor, the third floor, uh, it's gonna be absolute complete science. So if you wanna lock yourself in a study room, you can do that as well. You can go down to the front desk and they can give you a key. You can lock yourself into a study room. Our librarians hold a master's of science in library science. So they're more than qualified to help you find any resource that you might need for a project here at FSC. So one of our guarantees here at Florida Southern um, is a junior journey. A junior journey program is kind of like a mini study abroad program. They are seven to 10 days long and they fall during your spring break, fall break, winter break. That way you're not interfering with any courses. There's about 20 of them offered a semester anywhere from Paris to Australia to Italy, even Hawaii. I actually was able to go to Spain almost two years ago now um, for absolutely free since our junior journey stipend sometimes covers the cost of the entire trip since the school gives you a grant back from your tuition after four semesters which is why we call it a junior journey. Welcome to 22 Cyber Cafe. Here we have Starbucks coffee which is actually a student-led initiative to bring onto campus. We also have bagels here imported from Uncle Nick's which is a bakery in Lakeland. Behind us we have a printing station for students to use as well as computers with all the software that you might need for any of our classes. Over here we have 22's 2 which is a big study space for students here on campus. In the back we also have two semi-soundproof rooms that are available for students to use. They're super great for group study sessions if you might need that. Another way Florida Southern assists students with engaged learning would be our Rogers Building. Currently, we are standing in front of the Office of Career and Continuing Education. Here we have faculty that are able to help students tailoring their resume and cover letters, preparing for after graduation life, or even if you're trying to find a job or internship while you're in college. One of their largest examples of engaged learning in the CCE would be our mock interview day. Here we have students able to get real life interview practice with real life professionals from the Central Florida area. Professionals from the Ledger, Florida Tropics, and Northwestern Mutual have come to conduct these mock interview days. Students are able to have a 15 minute interview with them and then 15 minutes of feedback or critique to then enhance their next interview experience. So here in the Rogers buildings, we have a lot of great academic resources for our students to partake in. Right here is the writing center. They will do anything from brainstorming to help you with citations, anything to actually write the paper for you. So they're a great resource for any of your classes here at FSC. We also have student select student solutions here in Rogers. Uh, we have peer assisted study sessions and scholar strengthening scholars, which is actually a paid position here on campus. So these are students who have taken the classes with these professors and they're really able to help you out with any tutoring needs that you might need with your coursework. Upstairs in Rogers, we have the Association for Campus Entertainment and Student Government Association house, as well as a bunch of different offices like community living, Greek life, really anything that you might need is gonna be upstairs in Rogers. Welcome to our Simmons Multicultural Center. We are a super international campus, so it's amazing to have a space like this that our students are able to come and create sort of a community feel in. We hold events here like a barbecue for Martin Luther King Jr. Day and other similar events like that. Welcome to the Ordway Building. This is one of our Frank Lloyd Wright Originals. It is where we house all of our social science majors, so anything from sociology to political science and history. Over here we have the Babcock Gardens, which is a big event space here on campus. And all the way over there with the red roof is our Buckstop Pizza 
um, place. We have are the only college um, in North America that has an outdoor brick oven pizzeria. So there's a little fun fact for you. <laughs> so here at Florida Southern, our students are super involved. We have a ton of different extracurricular activities that you are able to be involved in from campus ministries to athletics to our um, Association of Campus Entertainment and Student Involvement. We also have tons of traditions. One right behind me, it's our senior splash that occurs in the Water Dome. All the graduating seniors get to have a giant pool party in the Water Dome to commemorate their last four years here. Um, what makes it so special is that since it's an actual landmark by Frank Lloyd Wright, um, it's a $10,000 entrance fee to go in, but we kind of waive that since we're cool enough to graduate. Okay, so right now I'm standing on Mr. George's Green. This is where some of our biggest campus events happen each semester. In the winter, right before we go on winter break, we have something called Winter Wonderland. So they bring out a bunch of snow, they build a massive snow slide here, and everyone has a great time having one day of snow here in Florida on the green. All right, so behind me is Jenkins Fieldhouse. This is home to our men's and women's division two basketball team, as well as our women's volleyball team. We have over 30 national championships here. I always make sure to go out, support our moccasins, especially when they're handing out free t-shirts. Also in Jenkins Fieldhouse, we have something called Southern Takeover. This is our annual concert series that is free for all students. We have food trucks, we have free t-shirts. This past year, I was able to plan it and we brought in the Plain White Tees and it was an awesome time in the Fieldhouse. All right, everyone, welcome to Fannin Center. This is home to our campus ministries offices here at Florida Southern College. We do campus ministries a little bit different. All of our organizations are housed under one roof here. So there isn't any competition or fighting in between the different groups. It's really, really awesome. So we are a United Methodist affiliated college. However, there's no religious re requirement in order to attend here. All you have to do is take a meaning and values general education class, which can be taken through a religion course. Or if that's not your style, you can take something like sociology, uh, communication, something like that. Uh, if you are interested in furthering your faith, we have 11 different weekly campus ministry programs. Uh, this can range from service-based organizations like Sandwich Ministries. Uh, we also have student-led programs uh, like Beyond, which is Thursday nights in Annie Pfeiffer Chapel, as well as a non-denominational Christian service on Sundays and a Catholic Mass as well. Welcome to our student health clinic. Here we have nurses and a nurse practitioner who are able to see students who may need medical assistance and are able to prescribe any medications that you might need. Uh, they're also super helpful for if you have any pre-existing conditions. For ex instance, I get allergy shots three times, uh, twice a week, and my allergist just sends them right up here and I get them administered right here in the health clinic. Super helpful that I don't have to go off campus for something like that. Down here we have our counseling center, which we offer group counseling, individual counseling, couples counseling, anything that you might need to better yourself, we offer here at Florida Southern. Right now I'm standing outside of the Nina B. Hollis Wellness Center. Um, this is a great place to come if you would like to uh, work out. We also have personal trainers, group exercise classes that you can get involved in, and also intramurals. Athletes have their own gym on campus where they can do their weightlifting and their training, so you don't have to worry about being next to a star athlete while you're running on the treadmill casually. We also offer several different intramurals in the wellness center. Um, these range from anything from basketball, soccer, um, even swimming, all the way to trivia night or um, even something like a rock, paper, scissors tournament or even life-size Mario Kart, which is pretty funny. Right behind me is our Florida Southern Mock Dock. You can go and head out there um, as a student and rent out anything for free. That ranges from paddle boards to kayaks, even hammocks if you'd like to go around the lake and hammock. We also have bikes that you can rent out from the Wellness Center to ride around the lake if that's something that you're interested in. Another thing that the Wellness Center offers is um, Discover, the Discover Florida program. So if you are interested in learning more about Florida or going on some really cool trips, you can go do things like 
uh, bioluminescent kayak tours or even discounted um, theme park tickets. So for example, there is a, an option to go to Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights every year and that's only $25 whereas it would typically be like closer to $100 to go to that. So that's really amazing um, as an opportunity as well for you. Our pool here on campus, we have two separate sections of the pool area. So one for recreation and then the other one uh, is full of competition length lanes that our swim team are able to practice on and we are able to hold competitions at from time to time. Thanks for coming on tour with us. Go, Go Hawks! Hawks.